The institution is not corrupt. There is no corruption in football. There is corruption with individuals. There is not a general organized corruption. There's no corruption in, within FIFA? No, it is with people. The institution FIFA is not corrupt. Your legacy is one of a number of people within that executive committee leaving because of proven corruption yeah. or alleged corruption or they've walked away because of uh, investigations. Yeah. And yet you were presiding over that organization the entire time. So either you, are, you knew about this and turned a blind eye to it, or you didn't know about it, and that shows a level, perhaps, observers say, of, of incompetency on your part, that you let this flourish. <laughs> Listen, um, the problem in FIFA, and this is now what is the ultimate reform we have to do now, the, the problem is the composition of the executive committee. The executive committee is not elected by the same entity than the president. So I have a government which has not been elected by the same entity. And therefore, this government is coming by elections through the confederations. So now I have to take people, they are not mine people, and I shall be morally responsible, uh, responsible for them. I cannot be responsible for them. I can only put some hurdles that it shall not be repeated, but I cannot take the moral responsibility of the behavior of people. I can protect myself. I'm strong enough mm. because I know what I have done, yeah. what I have not done. I have my conscience. I know that I'm a honest man. Your conscience is clean. So, well, yeah, I'm clean. I'm clean. In 2015, the world has around 7.3 billion inhabitants. Uh, we have added 1 billion people since 2003 and 2 billion since 1990. People born 60 years ago have seen the population of the world triple.